All I ask is that you don't give this video a thumbs down because you don't like this new checker. I've watched three other videos on the new nitrate checker, and let's just say there are more dislikes than likes. This isn't a negative review of the new Hanna nitrate checker, but I feel I owe it to explain to you guys why I am not going to be using this checker. And then I wanna tell you some of the issues I have with this checker, and then I also wanna tell you who I think the niche market this checker is made for. But before we get there, let me show you the 17 and a half minute process. Yes, it took me 17 and a half minutes to use this the first time for for one test. I test four tanks, so this would take me over an hour just to test nitrate every weekend. The first thing you need to consider before starting your test is, do you think your nitrates are over five parts per million? Most of us, the answer is yes. If your nitrates are over five parts per million, you have to do an extra dilution step. If you think your nitrates are less than five parts per million, then you can just skip the dilution step and go right to the test kit. The first thing I noticed when I got this is it is heavy. It is so much heavier than any other nitrate or any other HANA test kit out there. And that's because there are so many steps. Let's talk about how to dilute your sample if you think your nitrates are between five and 50 parts per million. First, you need to measure one milliliter of your tank water that you're gonna be testing and put it into the large mixing vial. Then you need to fill up to the 10 milliliter line with nitrite, nitrate-free seawater. Don't make the mistake I did, not RODI water. You literally have to have a fresh batch of salt water made just for this test. Yes, if that is annoying to some people, I understand. Then you mix it up, and at this point, you probably think, hey, I'm done, it's diluted. Nope. Then you have to draw seven milliliters of that 10 milliliter solution out of the large vial, dump out those extra three milliliters, and then put these seven milliliters back into that same large vial. Now you're diluted, and now you can actually begin the testing process. Using the five milliliter syringe, you're gonna add exactly four milliliters of the reagent into the large mixing vial. Now don't get confused here because there are two white packets with reagent, but you're gonna choose the H1781B0. There's a B and there's a C. You're gonna carefully cut it or rip it like I did, pour it into the vial and shake for one minute. Next, you're gonna take off the cap of the large mixing vial and you're gonna thread the covered needle into the 10 milliliter syringe, remove the plastic cover and draw up the contents of the mixing vial into the syringe. Next, you're gonna cover the needle with the plastic and you're gonna twist and remove the needle. Oh, I forgot a step here. Before you do this, you have to install the filter. One warning about this filter. I had to do this step three times because there is a very tiny clear plastic O-ring that every time you rinse out the filter or replace the little white filter will come out. It is not secured at all. And if you don't have that little tiny plastic clear O-ring, mind you, this whole process will not work. I almost had my O-ring down the garbage disposal the very first time I used it. I'm not gonna lie, having this little tiny O-ring there is extremely annoying. So if you do buy this test kit, please do not discard that O-ring because then this test is completely useless. I'm not joking. If you don't have that little tiny clear plastic O-ring, you cannot filter the contents of this test and you cannot do this test. That is not ideal. So you have to unscrew the two halves of the reusable plastic filter and carefully place one paper filter on the lower piece. The upper piece is marked top, at least that's what the directions say. I couldn't find it marked topped anywhere. And the lower piece has no marking. Just just follow along with this video to see which piece is the lower piece and which is the upper piece. Ensure that the filter paper is on top of the clear colorless gasket in the filter holder. Now, why you would make a clear 
colorless, tiny gasket and not offer a replacement is sort of beyond me because it's one of the most important pieces in this entire test kit. Thread the upper piece over the lower piece and tighten securely. And let me tell you something, you have to tighten this securely. I thought I tightened it securely and it leaked the first time. So you have to tighten it to the point that when you're done and trying to clean it, it is almost impossible to remove. So you remove the cap of the mixing vial, thread the covered needle onto the 10 milliliter syringe, remove the plastic cover and draw up the contents of the mixing vial into the syringe. Then you're gonna recover the needle with the plastic cover and twist to remove the needle. Then you're gonna screw on the filter to the filter holder assembly and attach the 10 milliliter syringe using the threaded connection. Hold the syringe and the filter holder assembly over the small cuvette very slowly. Now really, very slowly. This should take you at least 30 seconds. Very slowly push the plunger into the 10 milliliter syringe until the 10 milliliter cuvette has been filled up to the 10 milliliter mark. If the water in the cuvette is not clear, that means that the filter didn't work and you have to start over again. Just like in this example here, the gasket was missing, so the filter didn't work. Now wipe off the outside of the cuvette and then place the cuvette back into the checker and press the button. Remove the cuvette, unscrew the cap, and add the content of one packet of the C reagent. Replace the cap and shake vigorously for two minutes. Insert the cuvette into the checker and close the cap. Now you're going to press and hold the on off button until the display shows a countdown of eight minutes. When the timer ends, the checker will perform the reading. The instrument displays the concentration of nitrate of parts per million. If you diluted it, you need to multiply the result times 10. I'm not gonna use this test. I have four tanks that I test and I'm not willing to spend one hour of my time using this test kit. This is probably going to be the most accurate test kit on the market. But for the everyday hobbyist, you are not gonna need to spend $50 when you can buy an API or you can buy a Red Sea or you can buy a Salifert test kit for a lot cheaper and get results much quicker. So who then is going to need or who then is gonna to want to purchase this test kit? I think you're gonna want this test kit if you have an SPS dominant tank or some other tank where really precise nitrate readings are crucial for you. I think you're gonna want this test kit if you are a Hannah Checker fanatic and really just want every single checker that is available. I think you may want this test kit if you only have one or two tanks and you absolutely love spending time testing your tanks. Who does not need this checker? Most hobbyists out there. I'm just not going to spend the time to do this. 17 and a half minutes for my first time. I could probably lower that to somewhere around 15 minutes, but I'm not gonna spend an hour of my time every single weekend just using this kit to get an accurate reading of my nitrate. I would rather spend five minutes using one of those other test kits and get a rough approximation that for my needs is going to be adequate. I'm not saying this is a bad checker. It is not a bad checker. I just think it's way too complicated for most hobbyists and just unnecessary, especially when given the amount of time it takes. So Hannah, this is not a negative review. This is just a buyer beware, only buy this if you know you're going to need it. Everybody else, just get an API, Red Sea, NIOS, any other test kit, and it will do just fine for the average hobbyist. If you found this helpful in whether or not to decide to make a purchase, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. We'll see you next time, everybody. Happy reefing.